Hi there, souls. Welcome back to Clan Gen. Last episode, Follow Pa was now uh, lost. Uh, Follow Pa was taken by two legs, and I guess escaped them and is just lost somewhere. Thought they saw one of their clanmates, but realized it's just a loner. So, yeah, has a nightmare about their exile. So, I've also started to wonder if Stormheart was actually the one who murdered them, and it happened again. So, I'm gonna quickly look at the relations of the clan cats, see how, how they felt about certain cats. You disliked Swaptail a little bit. Maybe not, maybe it was just coincidence that it was tainted again. So, there we are, that's all these cats here. Let's go on to the next moon. Kestrel's lost the life to the bear clan leader. We are still at war with them, so I guess Kestrel Star just lost a somewhat battle. Kestrel Star, what lives do you have left? He has one life remaining. Poor guy. I think we're gonna lose our leader this episode and Scorch Scorchheart will rise to the challenge of being leader. But yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna send random cats. Alright, next moon. Stormheart went missing for a few days. Brushheart was having a peaceful stroll outside the camp and were attacked and killed by a badger. And Star Kestrel Star lost her life as in this traveled the Star Clan from Green Koth. War against Bear Clan has begun again. Kestrel Star is gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. Scorchart hasn't really quite became the the, the leader yet. I guess he has to travel to Star Clan. He's hoping to be on friendly terms with new grilling clans one day. Wants to warn Otter Blink. He's having dreams of Otter Blink. So Otter Blink's definitely in trouble. Something's gonna happen to the this cat. You say names of herbs. You went missing. This word togethers are judging them. And these the deputy's position. Wants a second chance at clan life, and here's Follow Paul, all grown up now. Wonders what their full name might have been now that they're an adult. Hopefully you'll be able to come back to the clan, hopefully. Scorchheart has been promoted to leader of the clan. They immediately travel to the Moonstone and get their nine lives a new name, Scorch Star. See their leader ceremony, yep. Flinch Heather is a new warrior. Stands above the clan and it, it, it proclaims Flailpaw as Flail Clover. And Crabbrook, of course. And Crabbrook is chosen as a new deputy, and they pray at Star Clan that this was a good choice. Of course, you chose Crabbrook, you simp. Okay. Here's Flail Clover and Flinch Heather. Heather, you got completely different uh, looks. Okay, you're a loyal, great teacher, and you're a strict, good hunter. All right. All right. We'll see Scorch Star's leader ceremony. Scorchheart leaves to speak with Star Clan. They close their eyes and immediately surrounded by love by their loved ones, friends, and clanmates who have passed on. Stars throw out their pelts and their eyes warm as they greet the new leader. Queen introduces himself as Weed Fur. They softly touch their nose on Scorchheart's head, giving them a life of empathy. Flower Speckle, here's Flower Speckle, walks up the Scorchheart next, offering a life for bravery. They smile and state that the clan will do well under Scorchheart's leadership. Clover Kit! It's Clover Kit! Clover Kit bounds up to the new leader, reaching up on their hind legs to give them a new life for adventure. They flick their tail and head back and make room for the next cat. Sam Patch states their name and steps forward gives Scorchheart a life of determination. A young cat next next to give a life. Starlight reflects off her youthful eyes. Nippaw stretches up to give a life for happiness. Swap Tail steps forward in, in energy in their steps that wasn't present in their last moments. They give life for persistence. Lake Stream, an unknown- No, you know this warrior. Gives a life for unity. They 
The cat returns around to take their place in Starkland. We've removed from the decks. Cat to give a life. Slit ear approaches next. A warm smile on their face. They offer a life for selflessness. Whisper, whispering to take care of the clan the best they can. Castro Star, one of the Star Clan's oldest leaders, or Shore Clan's old leader, looks at the new leader with pride. They give the last life, a gift of endurance in the face of hardship. Star Clan hails Scorchheart as their new name, Scorch Star, telling them their old life is no more. They guarantee guardianship of Shore Clan and told to use their new power wisely. wisely. The group of Starry Cat yells Scorchheart's name in support. Scorchheart wakes up feeling new strength within their body and know that they are ready to lead the clan. Well does Scorchheart, you have rose up into the position. Let's check on our loners. What are some of you cats with some things they call a scent of a shulker? Yes, you're finding us! Come on, you can find us! Let's, set, let's go and send out a patrol to look for you. A vision. Otter Blink is getting visions and it was warned a, a while ago, so maybe. Ah, uh, Honey Whisker. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to find. Is considering bending the rules of it just as once. Alright, we'll have to see what that means. Nothing happened though. Let's see, Starkland. Worry about the cats in the dark forest. Oh, I forgot to do that for you. Whoops, you would have been gone. There's no cats in the dark forest, man. Wants to visit Flame Pell. Looking to visit Lizard Rapid. Okay. Oof, already. Scorch Star confesses to Spot and Pelt that the responsibility of leadership is crushing him. Uh oh. That's not good. Kestrel Star, I don't think, ever had, like, any bad. Situation. He's a really good leader. Alright, we'll see you guys. Nightmares about exile. Praise the Starclad that their loved ones are safe. You can make it back to us, man. You can do it. You can do it. Cheetah Cat finds a kitty pet named Fury who wants to join a clan. And Fury Fur is now part of the clan. <laughs> 69 moons. Yeah. Fury Fur. A righteous cat with star coat. Strong connection, Starkly. I never looked at you. Empathetic. Uh, good hunter. Hunting for food finds comfort in their solitude. You were thinking about kids before, and now you want to have kids. You are close age to Fury Fur. Maybe I can try and see if you two will like each other. Boop. Cheetapex believes they are part of a new prophecy. Wow. See you guys. Fended off their kill from Rogue. Wishes they weren't as used to this as they are. This is sad. Come on, you can make it back to us. You can make it back. Vengeful, you never gained another personality. That's sad. Okay, let's go to Starclan and see what everyone has to say. Has seen Dusk Freckles' future demise. Oh boy. Let's go on to one more moon. War rages between Shore Clan and Brer Clan. Oh boy. No one has died from it though. And his patching wounds up. Everyone's getting wet. And one more Star Clan is disappointed in Stormheart. Oh, he probably figured it out now. Doesn't want to talk to Kestrel Star, you've always hated him, yeah. I definitely think it may have been Stormheart. Barely avoided avoided the patrol of their own clan. What does it still even find their way home? You will. You you almost spelled Shore Clan. I'm, I'm sure you will. Alright. So I think that will be the end of the video. Not much or anything interesting has been happening. But yeah! Yeah, this is me stretching. Yep, big noise. Okay, but yeah, that'll be it for now, and the it's gonna come to a close soon. We're close to episode twenty, and that will be the maybe the last of Shore Clan, and I'll continue on with the next update or the more recent update. 
but I definitely want to see if anything will happen here. So yeah, that's it, and bye!